Facebook and Instagram are two of the most used social media platforms on the planet. But what happens when they both go down? I'm your Appleton neighborhood reporter, Noah Cornelius, and I spoke to a couple of residents who are familiar with the subject. On Tuesday morning, Facebook and Instagram users began to notice issues from refreshing to any function at all. Reed Trier from marketing firm Widert Group says this could cause a stir. If someone is running Facebook advertising, for example, or advertising on Instagram, I mean, they're really relying on that spend to help them reach their audiences. And if that's out for even a matter of hours, that can have a big impact on a business. While people like you and me may cruise social media in our free time, there are businesses who use it to function. So when Facebook and Instagram went down, Trier says many businesses likely had to sweat out a few hours without some marketing. And Appleton legendary ice cream owner Jeremy Matson says this shortage, not a big blow to his shop. But he says he understands the importance of social media for business. Just being able to get the word out, people seeing the products, seeing it often makes them want to come in and, and give it a shot. Wider Group consultant Chelsea Drush says being prepared is crucial for some who really lean on social. It's really, it's not going to have long-term business effects, but the best way to plan for it ever happening in the future is to have that kind of backup mitigation plan communication-wise. At the time of this recording, Facebook and Instagram have returned to operation. Meta says the cause of all this was a technical issue. In Appleton, Noah Cornelius, NBC 26.